Alright guys, this is going to be my newest little video series that I'm going to start trying to do weekly, but I'm going to set the goal of bi-weekly so that I maybe possibly actually achieve it. Who knows? Um, first, I am sorry for my voice. I'm on the East Coast and our weather has been insane. Last week we were in the high 80s. This week we are in the low 50s with a lot of wind. So my allergies are just off the wall. Um, and I sound awful, but I also feel awful. So, I got requested to do this new little series where um, I focus on a particular artist or sculptor and really kind of touch in and go over things that either younger people or new people to this hobby may not know when they're trying to deal with that artist um, and information that could help them know. So, I'm going to do it. It's a really cool idea. I am not going to do painters at this time. Um, I'm only going to do sculptors, aka sculptors who cast resins and stuff like that, because if I do painters, I'm going to reach out to that painter ahead of time and get permission to do a video on them, because I say that because painters are mm, contacted a lot more, I guess you would say, than sculptors, and I don't want to put a video up here about them, about their policies, and A them not even be taking commissions, or B, them get a ton of deadbeat offers. So, with that being said, the one thing I really ask of you is that watch these videos, learn from these videos, but if you cannot afford something or anything like that, please don't attempt to buy if you can't afford, and don't pester them. Um, this is to help you learn to know about their policies and everything like that, but please don't use the information you get here as just a way to start contacting somebody if you cannot actually go through. So, with that being said, we're going to start with Lynn Fraley. Um, Lynn Fraley is an artist resin sculptor. She casts them. I think she also does china and all that good stuff, but obviously we're going to focus on resins. Um, she does all different scales. She does traditional, classic, and stable mate. She also has like her own style to sizes. She has oversized traditionals, which these two guys are a good representation of them. They are huge, even though they may not look like it right now. She does traditionals, and her traditionals are normally a little bit smaller than the average traditional, um, and I like that. Um, but for performance people, if you ever are wanting to buy one of her sculpts for performance, you need to be aware that her sculpts are not going to be your standard size that you're used to. Um, she does typically either sculpt a little bit larger or a little bit smaller. And her stable mates, she does the same thing. Some of her stable mates are a little bit um, larger than your average stable mate, and then some of them are a bit smaller. Chicory, for instance, is smaller. You can see that. Um, now with Lynn, one thing I will say that you're going to get with Lynn is just amazing, amazing expression and detail. One of my favorite personal things about Lynn Fraley are her faces. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus for you. Yes, no, maybe so, a little bit. Her faces are just brilliant. Now I know this guy is painted, but even the painter couldn't bring this to life if, you know, the basic sculpting wasn't there. I mean, Lynn will just give you hands down some of the most beautiful faces on a sculpt. Um, and as we all know, one of the big things that people are captured by on resins are faces. Just the amount of detail she will put into them. I mean, let's see if I can get this focus on his muzzle. Will really just already set the tone for the sculpt. And you can see all the little details she has in there. Um, she's very good. Like I said, you will not get a dry sculpt. You will definitely get a sculpt with detail. I don't know if I can get to focus on his wrinkles. She doesn't leave anything out. So, if you're interested in Lynn Fraley resins, the first thing I'm going to tell you that you need to know, and I am using her website for all this information, so this is accurate as of to her website as of today. Um, the first thing you need to do if you're interested in buying from Lynn Fraley is join her mailing list. Her mailing list is where she predominantly 
keeps people updated about what's in progress and her sales. Um, it's very important to be on there because she will also sell discontinued resins that she has extras of, things like that. And that's usually where she will pre-sale the first few copies of her newest sculpts. Um, and that's just where you keep up with her and her information. So, if you're interested in buying a Lynn Fraley resin at any time, I would go ahead and join her mailing list. By joining her mailing list, you don't have to commit to buy anything. You're truly just going to be signed up for her updates. So, it's not like you have to worry that if you sign up for the mailing list, you have to buy it when she sends it out. There will be a PayPal button usually in her, um mailing list and if you want to order you can. If you're not interested in ordering you can just read the email and get the information deleted afterwards. The first big question I know we're all going to ask is does Lynn Fraley allow time payments? So as far as I'm aware Lynn does not allow time payments. Now what she does do is normally when you order normally. Now it depends on when you're ordering. If you're ordering a very first release from Lynn. Normally you put down a deposit um, and then she will contact you when yours is ready. She'll send you a balance for the invoice. That's my previous experiences with her. Um, then you can save for the price of the resin because you'll know it. You can save for the price of the resin while yours is being casted. So otherwise she'll sell it as a PayPal thing and it'll tell you the full price and you have to go ahead and buy it at full price. I don't think she really likes time payments or allows to do time payments. I will say on her website it says she does not, she absolutely does not take them on purchases less than $200 and it says it may, need, may, well, may be negotiable on a case by case basis. Honestly if I had to be honest with you I would say um, if you're looking to get a resin by Lynn Fraley from Lynn Fraley to go ahead and plan to pay in full or not do time payments because I've never seen her advertise the time payment thing um, and the vibe I got from her website is that she really doesn't but like I said if you're buying a fresh release from her and not one of the ones she's selling that's discontinued normally you can put down the deposit I think it took me three or four months to get cha-cha after I put down the deposit so I was just able to save the money while I was waiting um, so that is that one. Um, I know that she mostly takes PayPal through her PayPal button. Um, I think you have to email her if you are wanting to pay another way. And like I said, I think in that case, like if you wanted to pay by money order and she released a new edition, you would just email her and tell her how many copies you wanted. Um, she does not do open ordering and what I mean by that is she's not like Sarah Rose where she just leaves it open for like a pronounced amount of time and then as many copies as are ordered or what's casted. She normally has a closed window. Um, she normally has a closed window of time and however many are ordered in that time will be casted but it's not as long of a time frame as like Sarah Rose. So it's normally a smaller amount. Um, she does cast and sell some of them on her own and I don't think she has a set number but they are not open editions and when I say they're not open editions what I mean is you will not have just a long amount of time to come back and order it and think about it. Um, it won't be like Rio Rondo or Resins by Randy where they're just open for years and you can buy one and at any point. She will eventually close hers out. Excuse me. Um, Lynn, another thing that's important to note about Lynn, if you are buying Lynn Fraley's resins, you cannot modify them. The only modifications Lynn Fraley allows without approver, approval are mains and tails. You, like I'll say this again, if you buy a Lynn Fraley resin, you cannot make modifications to the sculpt other than the main or tail unless Lynn Fraley approves it. <coughs> so what that means, like this Oliver resin right here that I changed up, we got the neck changed and the mane and the tail and the ears, you cannot do that on a Lynn Fraley resin unless she has given you explicit permission to alter her resin. She holds her VARA rights and the only thing she gives you permission to change without contacting her is a mane or tail. So if you wanted to change 
his mane, you could. You don't have to contact her. But if you wanted to pin his ears back or change a leg position or something, anything other than that mane and tail, you would have to contact her and get permission first. Um, from what I've understood, a couple people have broken their resins and then sent Lynn a picture of the broken resin and asked for permission that when they get it fixed to alter things and she's approved it. But that is extremely important to remember, you guys, if you're going to buy from her. If you already are thinking about changes when you're buying it, I would go ahead and email in and say, I'm looking to get a copy of this resin, but this is what I want to do to it. She does not allow you to make modifications without her permission if it's further than the mane and tail. Now, that's kind of a summary of Lynn's selling policies. The um, pros and cons to Lynn. I know the person who gave me this idea was like, I really want to know the pros and the cons. Um, there's not really, oh, sorry guys. There's not really pros and cons. I mean, the biggest pro to Lynn Fraley is that you get just these amazing sculpts that kind of like the beautiful the beautiful images of horses that you get in your head like Lynn is able to put them into a sculpt um, down to the detail of their faces just the muscling I mean Lynn's work is just beautiful the only semi con that I will say is that Lynn cast in a very light resin like it is a very very like I mean her sculpts are semi almost weightless um, it's a very nice resin. It holds really nice detail. It's a little bit soft. So, Lynn's resins have been known to have warping issues, but they're easy to work around. Um, some of the ones that are more tend to warp, like Cha Cha's, tend to warp this back leg and this tail. I lay mine down if he is not at a show. My Cha Cha lays down at all times if we're not at a show. Um, same with my Enviado. Enviado is known to warp. Um, that's the best thing you can do. If they're known to warp, lay them down. But what I will say about Lynn Fraley is Lynn Fraley has like a satisfaction guaranteed policy. And if you contact Lynn, you don't need to be rude to her. You can be totally calm. I've had to do this myself. If you contact Lynn with photographs of the problem, um, you know, let her know, hey, this resin had issues, everything like that. Lynn will make it right. Lynn is amazing when it comes to customer service. She will not leave you high and dry. She will not say, oh, mm, sorry. Lynn has hands down some of the greatest customer service that I think I've ever worked with when it comes to artist resin. Between her and Morgan Kilborn, they go, her, Morgan Kilborn, and Maggie Bennett by far have had some of the best customer service I've ever dealt with when it comes to buying artist resins. They go above and beyond to make the problem right, to make you happy. Lynn Fraley, one thing I can tell you of buying the resins from her is that she's going to make sure you're happy. And if a problem occurs, <clears throat> like the warping, which she knows about, but these have such amazing detail. And I wouldn't expect her to cast in a harder resin that didn't hold as much detail when this seems to be working. And once in a while there's a bad apple, but she'll just fix it for you. Um, you're really at least you know you're working with someone who is going to go above and beyond to fix the problem for you. So Lynn Fraley's resins, um, I'm not going to give an average on the price because they go every which way and everything like that. If you're interested in Lynn's resins, I will tell you I found on her website right now that she does have two available resins for purchase on her website, but it looks like you have to pay in full for them. It is Serenija. I'm going to try and put a picture right here, but it's probably not going to work. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. And Winter's Whimsy. Uh, Winter's Whimsy is $285. And Serenija, which is her newest sculpt, is $215. They are available on her website. I will link them below. I hope this semi helped if you're looking to get into Lynn Fraley resins to be what, for what to be prepared for. Again, sign up for her newsletter uh, if you are wanting to stay up to date on what she has available. Please... Like this video if you enjoyed it and comment below on what sculptor you would like to see next. Um, and I will hopefully get to working on that here pretty soon. Thank you guys and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.